Hello everybody and welcome to Yoga with Orla. I'm Orla and I hope you enjoy this Good Friday Yoga Flow. So a big part of the yoga practice is to do with the breath. We want to link movement and the breath together. So really focusing on your breath today. Can you make that inhale a little bit longer? Expanding the belly. Can you make the exhale a little bit longer as well? Deep inhale, deep exhale. So now together we'll inhale for the count of four. So inhaling one, two, three, four, and exhaling for four, three, two, one. Inhale again, one, two, three, four, and exhale, four, three, two, one. So you wanna try and keep some of that breath throughout the practice. Bring the hands now down by your side or onto the knees or onto the hips, whatever feels good. And just gently, you can open the eyes, start to roll those shoulders back. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. Maybe you just rolled out of bed, so you wanna wake them up. Nice shoulder rolls back, and then shoulder rolls forward as well. Really easy, really gentle. Bring the shoulders up to the ears, and then gently releasing them down away. And one more time, up to the ears, and gently releasing them away. With the head now, bringing it over to the right-hand side, looking over your right shoulder. Deep inhale here, exhale. Inhale, head comes back to center. Let me exhale, see if you can sit a little bit taller. So imagine the string pulling your head up and your sit bones are grounding down into the mat. So we're going in both directions here for a long straight spine. And then we look over our left shoulder. Deep inhale and exhale here. Inhale, bringing the head back to center. Looking down, chin towards the chest now, stretch to the back of the neck here. And then bring the head back to center again, looking up towards the ceiling. Stretch to the front of the neck. And then back to center again. This time bringing your right ear towards the right shoulder and your left hand expands out, <laughs> extends out, should I say. And a deep inhale here, deep exhale. So some of you might feel this in the arm or in the shoulder, in the neck, whenever you're feeling it. Deep inhale. And then exhale, lower that hand down, bring the head back to center. And we do the same on the other side. So the left ear goes towards the left shoulder and the right hand or arm extends out. Inhaling here and exhaling, maybe pushing through the heel of the hand. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And then the hand comes back down, head to center. Bring both hands out by your side, inhaling up. Reaching up, stretching up, and then exhaling, lowering those hands all the way down to the mat. Do that again, inhaling those arms up. And really be aware, use this as research, is one hand reaching the top before the other? Or when you exhale the hands down, is one hand coming down or reaching the mat before the other? Inhaling those arms up and see if you can adjust that. Can you make them move at the same time? Exhaling those arms down. Great. So then bringing the legs out in front of you, or maybe you want to roll over. We're just coming into a tabletop position. So whatever way you need to fix yourself to come to tabletop. And again, you can place um, a blanket or a cushion underneath the knees if you want a little bit more support there. So once you're in tabletop, you're grinding down into those hands, which are under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. And we're just going to start to rock forward really gently, inhaling forward and then exhaling back, the bomb comes towards the heels a little bit. Inhaling gently forward and exhaling, moving gently back. So you should be, or you might feel this in the wrists here, you might feel it in the arms. Not going too far, so 
we don't want any strain, no strain and no pain um, in yoga. And then turning the fingertips out towards the side of the mat. I'm just gonna rock from left to right here. Just feeling the awareness of the hands spreading into the mat and the wrists. And then for some of you, this might be enough or for others, we're gonna turn the fingers to face the knees. So we're getting quite an intense stretch for some of you in the front um, of the arms. And rock forward here, deep inhale, and then exhale gently back. And some of you might be able to go quite a lot back and some of you might not, might be just very intense. So just inhaling forward and exhaling back. And then bring the wrists back to face the front. Really gentle, really easy. We're gonna do some cat and cow now. So for cow, we inhale to look up and we tilt the pelvis, working through the spine, belly lowers to the mat. Shoulders away from the ears. And then we exhale, pressing down into those hands, looking down for angry cat, really pressing into the hands away from the mat, tilting the pelvis the opposite direction, belly scoops under. We inhale, look up for cow, shoulders away from the ears, belly lowers, pelvis tilts, and then working through the spine, pressing into those hands, angry cat, chin comes towards the chest, pelvis tilts. And you can go at your own pace now this morning. So you're inhaling up for cow and exhaling down for angry cat. And maybe you want to go a little bit faster than I'm going or a little bit slower. So really just going at your own pace and feeling through the spine. I mean, we want to try and see if we can move one vertebrae at a time, but it's quite difficult. So that's the idea. But if we don't get there, if we don't manage it, if you can't really feel it, then it's totally okay. But if you can imagine that you're trying to move through the spine one little part at a time. And then coming back to center, whenever you're ready, and you're just gonna to start to rock the hips from side to side, really gently, really easy rocking those hips. Coming back to center now, we're tucking the toes. We're gonna to lift the knees up off the mat about a centimeter or two. We wanna to start to engage the abdominal muscles. <laughs> so inhale here and then exhale, belly button towards the spine. Just lift the knees about a centimeter or two off the mat. And then holding here, Deep inhale, deep exhale. Lower those knees down. I'm going to do that again. So Uddiyana Banda, which is our stomach lock, is what we want to think of throughout yoga. So we want to try to engage those muscles of the core. Deep inhale here, and then exhale, scoop the belly, lift the knees. If you lift the knees too high, you're not going to feel this at all. So you have to keep them just hovering away from the mat. And then if you want, maybe gently moving forward on the arms, coming back. Deep inhale here and exhale. Gently lower the knees back to the mat. This time we're going to lift the knees and the hips are going to go into the air for our first downward dog of the morning. So pressing into those hands, shoulders away from the ears, lift the knees, hips go into the air, nice and high, head comes down, looking in between those legs. You can keep the knees really bent here if you like. Start to think of the chest going towards the top of the legs or the quads or the front of the thighs coming towards the chest. And keep those knees nice and bent if you need to. You can start to pedal the legs here. So bending one knee a little bit more, straightening the other leg. Just pedaling the legs one at a time, bringing some warmth into the body. Maybe going a little bit faster here to wake everything up, start everything moving. Grinding down into those hands. So for some of you, you might want to widen the hands here, bringing them out a little bit further in the mat. For others as well, you might want to have a gentle bend in the elbows. So everyone's body is different and others, you might want to walk those feet a little bit closer towards the hands. You want to think in the downward dog that it's like a hill. So the top of the hill is our hips in the air and then the bottom of the hill are both sides. One side is the hands and the other side is the feet. So really gently, really easy now. I want you to start to walk the hands back towards the feet. So those heels will come onto the mat. And we should be maybe in a forward fold at the bottom of the mat here. Bend the knees as much as you need to and shake the head yes a couple of times, shake the head no. Just to release any more tension here. And then gently grab and hold the elbows and stay where you are. Just start to sway from side to side. 
belly button towards the spine here again. So we worked on our Udiana Banda, our stomach lock, engaging those abs for the practice. And then gently lowering the hands and start to roll up really gently through the spine. Really easy, really gentle. And then once we get to the top of the mat, rolling those shoulders back. Inhale those arms all the way up, reaching up, stretching up. And then exhale those hands all the way down. Nice. Placing the hands onto the hips now. Just start to circle out those hips this morning. Just waking everything up, waking the hips up, waking the body. And swing the other direction. So we're gonna do now what they call knocking on heaven's door, which I'm not too sure of the name, but basically you're gonna just turn one side, the hands come over, bend the knees slightly, and then you turn to the other side. So you're just rock, rocking from side to side or swaying from side to side. And I suppose the knocking is the part where the hands touch the body. Nice knock here. And you're just gently moving the spine. Deep inhale. Deep exhale, working through the breath. Just waking the body up here this morning. You can go a little bit faster if you want to wake things up, or a little bit slower, a little bit more gentle. Just going with whatever feels good for you. And then slowing it down, coming back to center, nice and easy. Gently start to shake the hands out, start to roll those wrists a little bit, one direction and the other direction. And then picking up your right foot, start to roll the ankle of the right foot one way and the other way. Just waking up all those little muscles, ligaments, tendons, everything that's going on. And picking up the left foot and doing the same on that side. Gentle rolls one way and the other way. Good. So we're going to come to the front of the mat now if you're not there already. And we're going to go into our first sun salutation of the day. So for some of you, you might want to keep the feet together. For others, maybe just the toes touching and the heels are apart. Or if you're more comfortable, you can keep those feet at hip width distance. So really just fixing or adjusting the postures and poses to whatever works best for you. Putting the hands down by the side. We're standing tall in Tadasana, which is our mountain pose. So it's really the foundation of a lot of postures. Thinking of a nice straight, strong spine, like a string is pulling the top of your head up, rolling those shoulders back, belly button towards the spine, abdominals engaged, strong legs, think of those feet pushing down into the mat. Maybe the knees are lifting, or if you think of the quads engaged here, so the muscles and the legs are really working. And then for others here, you might want to think of the posture. So for some people, you might want to tuck that pelvis in under a little bit. For others, you might be quite rounded in the spine, so you want to open up from those shoulders. Just using this as research to see what you need to do. And then the inhale, the hands reaching up, stretching up, bend the knees here, and exhale, forward fold. Hands come down, either side of the legs on the mat, or on the thighs, or on the shins. And then the inhale, look up, halfway lift. You're just lifting up a little bit here, shoulders away from the ears. And then we exhale, bending down, bending forward. And then pressing the hands or the fingertips into the mat, bend the knees as much as you need to. Pick up that left leg and bring it to the back of the mat. So we're in a high lunge here with the left leg back. And then gently lowering that left knee to the mat. Maybe you might want to put a cushion or a pillow underneath that left knee. Doing whatever feels good, you can untuck the toe. And we inhale, lifting those arms up, reaching up. So we're stretching into the front of the left hip here. We want to make sure that that right knee isn't too far back or too far forward over the right foot. Inhale, stretch up and then exhale, bring those hands back down, fingertips on the mat either side of the right foot or hands on the mat. And gently rock the body weight back and bring that right foot to join the left. So we're in a tabletop position or an extended tabletop. Bring the hands in a little bit closer, tuck those toes, and then lift the hips into the air for downward facing dog. You can keep the knees bent here as much as you like, or you can pedal through the legs, or walk the feet a little closer to the hands if you feel it's very intense, thinking up that hill. Head looking in between the legs, 
Deep inhale here, maybe you lift the heels up high. And then on your exhale, lowering those heels back down towards the mat. Inhaling the heels up, rolling the shoulders away from the ears and exhaling them down. Belly button towards the spine here, rolling the shoulders away from the ears. And then on the next inhale, we look up in between those hands and you're gonna lift that left leg into the air, bend the knee in towards the chest and bring that left leg forward in between those hands. So it might not get there, so we're gonna fix it or help it along a little bit with our hands. So it comes a little bit more forward. We're in a high lunge here now again with the left leg front, right leg extended back. And then having that cushion or blanket ready, you can bend that right knee back down to the mat. Straighten out that back right foot. Inhale here, bring the hands up, reaching up, stretching up. And then exhale, bring those hands back down towards the mat, either side of that left foot. Tucking that back right toe now, coming to a nice high lunge here. And then you're going to step that right foot to join the left at the front of the mat. At the front of the mat, shake the head yes, shake the head no, we're in forward fold. We inhale, look up, halfway lift. Exhale, deep forward fold again. And then we inhale, coming up all the way, stretching up, reaching up, and then exhale those hands down, away from the ears. Great, we're gonna do that again. Inhaling the hands up, reaching up. Second sun salutation, exhale those hands all the way down towards the mat or the legs. Then we inhale, look up, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down, forward fold. This time we're picking up the right leg and bringing the right foot to the back of the mat. So we're in a high lunge here. Then we gently lower that right knee towards the cushion or the blanket or the mat underneath you. Untuck that back right foot. Inhale those hands up, reaching up, stretching up. Feeling this in the front right hip. Exhale those hands all the way down either side of that front left foot. Once you're here, start to bring the weight back into the right leg. And then gently bring that left foot to join the right so we're in, a, in a kind of a wider tabletop position. We tuck the toes, pressing into those hands, half to band or hand lock, start to lift the hips up into the air for a downward facing dog. Once you're here, you can keep the knees really bent. Maybe to begin with, you want the chest to go towards the knees, knees towards the chest. And then start to push those hips up a little bit further. The legs will or might start to straighten. And then remembering those hands pressing down into the mat, maybe they need to go a little bit wider. You can have a look up at them now. You want to think of the inside of your elbows facing forward. So maybe you need to bend the elbows a little bit more to do that. Maybe for some of you, you might need to turn the hands out a little bit more so that your thumbs are facing forward, but the fingers are kind of on a diagonal. And for others, you might want to bring the fingers a little bit more forward so that they're facing the front of the mat. Deep inhale here, deep exhale. Looking forward now. And you're gonna bring that left leg to the front of the mat in between those hands. So there's a nice space here. And then gently start to lower that right knee towards the mat. Bring that right foot onto the mat. And then we inhale up, stretching up, reaching up, feeling in the front right hip, and then we exhale, lowering down, bring those hands back to the mat. Untuck that back right foot, and then gently bring the right foot to join the left in the front. So we're in a forward fold at the front of the mat. We inhale, look forward here, halfway lift, and then exhale, going all the way down. We inhale down, coming all the way up, reaching up, stretching up, and then exhale, lowering those hands down by our side. Lovely. We're going to release the blanket or pillow that might be behind you there. And you're going to step that left leg back to the left of the mat or to the back of the mat. So you want to think um, of a maybe three foot distance between the legs. And we're still having the hips facing forward here. So we're going to go into warrior one. So for warrior one, some of you might need to lift the back heel up here. Some of you might be able to keep it on the mat at a 45 degree angle. Just doing what feels good for you again. 
Start to bend that right front knee. Inhale the hands up, reaching up, stretching up. So for some of you, it might be a bit uncomfortable. You want to lift that back heel, bring the leg back a little bit. So you're in more of a lunge here, if you like. For others, you want to try and get that heel on the mat. Again, just doing what feels good. Deep inhale here. Deep exhale. Grounding down to that foot, front right foot here. Stretching the hands up. And then we inhale, bending forward. Head or body, chest comes towards that front knee. Exhale down here. And then inhale, coming up, reaching up, stretching up again. And then we exhale, bend that front knee and bring the left foot to join it at the front. Hands come down. Gonna do the same on the other side. So this time the right leg comes back and bend three foot, four foot distance. Maybe the foot or the heel of the back right foot is on the ground, about a 45 degree angle. Or maybe that back right heel lifts up. So in more of a high lunge. So you're just doing whatever feels good for you. Inhale, hands up. Reaching up, stretching up. Warrior one. Fierce arms, fierce legs. Exhaling here, grounding down in that front left foot now. Inhale, bringing the body forward. Chest towards that front leg. Exhale, ground it down, now left foot. Inhale, bring the body back up, belly button towards the spine. And one more time. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, coming all the way up, reaching up, stretching up. Bending into that front left leg and then bring the right to join it, front of the mat, hands come down by your side. Gonna go into warrior two. So you step that left leg. Kick it forward and then bring it back a bit wider than warrior one. And you want now that left foot to be facing the side of the mat. So it's more of a 90 degree angle. And then you can keep straighten that leg to begin with. Now your hips are facing fully to the side. So squeeze those glutes to open the hips a little bit more here. Remembering that string, pulling your head up. Hands on the hips to begin with and start to bend that front right knee. Place the hand just on the inner thigh here and just gently encourage that leg to open out to the side. So we don't want to have the knee rolling in too far forward. We want to make sure that that knee is threading over that front right foot or the front right toes. And then when you're ready, bringing those hands to shoulder height distance here. Maybe for some of you, you might want to make that stance a little bit wider, a little bit longer. Deep inhale here. Now we're going to look over that front right finger, front right hand, deep exhale. Widening the legs, opening the hips up here. Ground down into that back left foot or the back baby toe of the left foot. And making sure that that right knee is going over the right toes or right foot. Maybe have a quick look down to make sure the knee isn't rolling in. Squeezing the glutes here. Think of someone, um, let's say they have their, your, their hands underneath your biceps or your triceps and you're pushing down on those hands and they're pushing up. So you really want to engage those arms here. They're strong. Warrior two or Virabhadrasana two. Deep inhale here. Deep exhale. On your next inhale, turning that right palm up to face the ceiling. Deep exhale, grind down. And then next inhale, we're bringing that right hand up to the ceiling. Left hand goes back towards our left leg. Reverse warrior. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And then inhale, come back to warrior two. Bringing the hands onto the hips, start to straighten that front right leg. And then we turn the right toes in so that both feet are at the same angle here. And we turn the left foot out. So we're doing the same on the other side. So you might be facing away from me, depending on where your camera is, but I trust you. I'll guide you with my words. So then the same thing as before, we start to bend that left knee and place the hand on the left thigh to gently encourage that left knee to go over the left toes. So it's not coming in, the knee is not going off on a diagonal, it's opening out. Squeeze the glutes here, maybe bring that back right leg out a little bit further for a deeper pose. Bring the hands up to shoulder height, and you're looking over that left hand. Deep inhale here, deep exhale. Maybe you start to bend that right knee a little bit more to deepen the stretch. 
Opening up from the glutes, shoulders away from the ears. Think of that string, putting your head up, belly button towards the spine. And again here, you wanna think of the body in the center. So we're not going too far forward um, over that front right leg. We wanna think of someone putting their arms in both directions. So someone's pulling the front left arm and someone's pulling the, the back right arm. So you're really stretching as wide as you can in all directions. And then we inhale, turn the palm of the left hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, ground down to that back right foot. And then bring the back right hand towards the back right leg. Inhaling that left hand up. Reverse warrior here. Left hand is up to the ceiling. Exhale, ground down. And then inhale, bring yourself back to warrior two. Outstretched hands, looking over that right hand. Start to straighten that left leg now, bring the hands to the hips and turn that left foot in to face the right. So we're in a wide legged stance here. Both legs are facing the side of the mat. Start to pigeon toe the feet. So the heels are out a little bit and the toes are coming in. Gently bend the knees for some of you here that might have any legs or hip issues or maybe just tight hamstrings. Bring the hands to the hips. We inhale, look up, roll the shoulders back, and then we're gonna exhale for our forward fold. So belly button towards the spine, start to forward fold from the hips. Once we come halfway, we inhale, look up, halfway lift, and then we exhale, forward fold a little bit deeper. So maybe you're starting to feel this in the legs or the hips, or maybe the back. Again, you can gently bend the knees here if you need a bit of a hand. And then whatever you like, you can bring the hands towards the mat if they reach. You can bring the hands onto the thighs, onto the shins, the back of the calves. Maybe you're going for a yogi toe lock, which is where you um, lock the toes or hold the toes um, of both feet. <laughs> and inhaling, making space, belly button towards the spine and exhaling forward, fold a little deeper. Maybe for some of you, you wanna keep those hands still on the hips still working on the stretch. So thinking of a straight spine as much as you can here. So maybe you need to lift a little bit further um, up. Inhale, make space, belly button towards the spine, and then exhale, fold a little bit deeper into the stretch. Oh, letting go of any tension that you might be holding on the exhale. Inhaling and creating warmth. Exhaling, trying to relax the muscles a little bit more to deepen the stretch. And then we inhale, coming up, halfway lift. Exhale, bring those hands back to the hips if they're not there already. And then we inhale, coming all the way up, reaching up. Bend the knees a little bit here and then jump the feet together. Great. We're gonna go into our tree pose now. So bend that right knee. And then gently pull that right knee out to the side, bring the right heel to the top of the left ankle. And for a tree, if you're just beginning with your yoga practice, you can stay here just lifting those toes, testing the balance up off the mat. If you wanna go a little bit further, you're bringing that foot underneath the knee on the shin. And if you wanna go further again, you're picking up that right foot and bringing it to the top of the thigh. So above the knee or under the knee, just not on the knee to protect it. Then bring the hands maybe to the center of the body. I had a bit of a wobble there. <laughs> maybe you're having a bit of a wobble at home as well. Grinding down to that standing left foot. So we wanna try and think of a strong left leg here. So the muscles of the left leg are working and are helping you. Engaging the glutes here as well to give you a bit more support to open up in the hips. Belly button towards the spine, lifting up a little bit more. Shoulders back, opening the heart. Like a tree, standing strong, maybe you start to inhale those hands up and they open out like branches of a tree. Inhale here, lifting, exhale, grounding down into that left standing foot. If you're feeling like it's a, a big wobble, you're falling off your balance, that's totally okay and totally normal. So just come back into it if you fall out of it. And then we inhale the hands back to center. Exhale, belly button towards the spine, hands come down to the chest. Oh, having a little dance here myself. Inhale, one more time, and then exhale, grab hold of the foot or the knee, and gently lower that leg down, and bring the foot back to the center. 
Shake the knees here, shake the hips a little bit, releasing any tension. And we're just gonna do the same on the other side. So we bend that left knee and bring it out to the side and our left heel comes to the top of the right ankle. And then to begin with, if you maybe wanna just play with testing the balance here, you're just gently lifting those toes up off the mat. Wanna go a little bit further, you're placing that left foot onto the right shin below the knee or further again, picking up that left foot and placing it on the top of the thigh above the knee. So just doing whichever variation feels good for you. Grounding down to that standing right leg. Imagine like roots of a tree spreading down into the earth below the mat. And then opening up in the shoulders, belly button towards the spine, glutes engaged. Inhale those hands up, reaching up and spreading, stretching out like branches of a tree. Imagine that string coming to the top of your head up here. And one side might be better than the other, one side might be worse than the other. Again, if you're dancing around, just enjoy it and come back into the posture. Try again. Deep inhale, making space, maybe growing a little bit taller. And exhale, grounding down into that standing leg. Inhale, bring the hands back to center. Exhale, lowering them down. One more inhale, creating space, lifting a little bit taller. And then exhale, releasing that leg, releasing that foot all the way down. Shake the hips here, here, <laughs> wiggle the hips, shake the knees, whatever feels good. Coming to the front of the mat now, if you're not there already. <laughs> and then we start to bend the knees, we inhale to chair pose. So with our chair pose, it's similar to squats that you might do in the gym. We want to look down at your feet and make sure that the knees are not covering the toes. You still want to see the toes here. Maybe the hands for you today are just out in front, or maybe they're reaching up. And you want to think here, maybe a victory arm, so their hands are in a nice wide V. Deep inhale here. Deep exhale, maybe bend a little bit lower. Inhaling, creating space, belly button towards the spine. Exhale, maybe going a little bit lower in your chair pose. Inhale, looking up one more time. And then exhale, hands come down either side of the legs or either side um, of the feet. And then inhale, look up, halfway lift. And exhale, deep forward fold. Lift that left leg and bring it to the back of the mat. Grounding down into those hands here. Lift that right leg to join it. So you're coming to high plank here. Deep inhale, going forward, and exhale back. I think it was a bad decision on my part to have this plant here in front of me, but it's fine. <laughs> Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Working abdominals here. Udiana Banda, stomach lock. Deep inhale, deep exhale, firing up the body this morning, waking up. And when you're ready, gently lower those knees to the mat. Flick the feet back down onto the mat. Inhale here, and then exhale, lower chin and chest all the way down. Once you're here, head, chin, chest on the mat. Inhale, roll those shoulders back and lift up for a gentle cobra. So pressing into the hands, lifting the shoulders and the head up off the mat. And then we exhale, lower down, back to the mat. Inhale, pushing into those hands. Bring yourself back to tabletop. Bring the feet together, knees apart. And you just bring yourself back to a nice child's pose. Once you're here, deep inhale, deep exhale. For some of you, you might want to place a cushion underneath the head. Or for others, you might want to place a cushion or a blanket on top of the heels, in between the hips and the heels. And maybe just staying here, looking up. Maybe this is enough. Or coming all the way down, head towards the mat. If you've lost the breath or if your mind has wandered at all, bring it back to the breath now. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale now, looking up forward between those hands and coming to a tabletop position. So releasing um, the back cushion or blanket that you might have had, or maybe you're placing the cushion or blanket underneath your knees here to give you a little bit more support. And then once you're here, really gently, Make sure those hands are under the shoulders, knees under hips. Start to lift that right hand up and away from the mat. Once it here, inhaling and exhaling, 
then gently see if you can start to lift that left leg up and out away. So we've got our left leg in the air and right hand in the air. And again, we're playing with the balance here. Deep inhale, someone's pulling your arm, someone's pulling your leg. So you're spreading and stretching in both directions, as well as strengthening up the trunk, the core. And then we inhale one more time to lift. Exhale, start to bend the elbow, start to bend the knee. And you're gonna come up into an angry cat. So the knee and the elbow are meeting towards each other underneath you in the center. Exhaling, grounding down. Let me inhale, lift up, stretching up, stretching out. Exhale, lower that hand towards the mat and lower the leg down. Do the same on the other side. So inhale, lifting that left arm up away from the mat. Exhale, grounding down with that right um, hand. And then we start to lift that left, or the right leg, right leg, sorry. Deep inhale, right leg is lifting. We've got the left hand lifting and the right leg. Inhaling here, exhaling, grounding down. Inhale, one more lift. And then exhale, start to bend the elbow, start to bend the knee. And the elbow and the knee come to meet. Your body's going into an angry calf position with the back, with the spine. Inhale here, exhale, ground down into standing, um, or the hand that's on the mat. And then inhale, lifting up, lifting out. And exhale, lower that hand down, lower that leg down. Great. Bringing the hips now, or the bum back towards the heels. And then gently walk the hands back either side. Come down, hips on one arm, one side, and release those legs. <laughs> so the legs are right in front of you here. Maybe grab onto um, a cushion or a blanket, whatever you might need to prop you up a little bit more. Bend the knees if you need to here. Deep inhale, creating space. We're just gonna forward fold over these legs here. So I want you to close the eyes and start to walk the hands either side of the legs, coming down into a forward fold seated position and reaching forward, stretching those hamstrings, maybe stretching the back here. Maybe you're grabbing hold of the back of the thighs, the back of the calf muscles. Maybe you're reaching towards those feet. Maybe for some of you, you want to start to straighten the legs out bringing a deeper stretch to the legs here, to the body. Deep inhale, belly button towards the spine. Exhale, forward folding over those legs. Inhale, gently coming up. And exhale, releasing the body. Bring those hands back to center. Lovely. Bringing yourself down onto the mat now. So gently lowering the elbows one at a time. Keeping those knees bent here, window wipe of the legs from side to side, releasing any tension that you might have here. And then gently bend the knees in towards the chest. Give those legs a bit of a hug. Maybe grab um, the left hand to the left shin, right hand to the right shin, and just start to circle the legs so you're getting a nice massage to the back lower back on the mat and then circling the other direction lovely and then gently start to lower the knees to the left hand side of the body so the knees fall to the left hand side of the body or gently lower to the left hand side and then extend the hands if you've got space to nice tea or for me i'm keeping cactus so the hands are bent and this might be enough of a twist or a stretch for you or for others who want to look over that right shoulder. So the knees or the legs are falling to the left hand side and then you are looking over your right shoulder, your right hand. And again, maybe the hands are stretched out in the teeth. Not forgetting your breath here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And then gently bring the head back to center. Start to bring those legs back up to center. And then gently the legs go to the right hand side this time. The legs fall to the right. And then you might look over that left shoulder. Gently twisting the spine here, massaging those internal organs. With our twists, we're 
when we twist, we're generally kind of squeezing those areas of the body that we might not normally. And when we release the twist, we're bringing fresh blood and fresh oxygen to those parts of the body. And then when you're ready, bring those legs back to center. One final big hug with the legs, maybe the head reaches forward between them. And then preparing for your final Shavasana. So you want to stretch those legs out. You want to bring a cushion underneath your head. You want to have a blanket over you if you have a blanket. Whatever feels good for you. So if you want, you can turn off the video now. You can say goodbye to me and end it and leave yourself in a nice long Shavasana. Or if you want to hang on and just I'll guide you through it. So wherever you are, I, if you want to say goodbye now, that's fine to have a nice long Shavasana. Otherwise, you're bringing your legs as wide as the mat. Palms are facing forward up towards the ceiling. With each inhale, making space. Exhale, letting go a little bit more. I'm going to sit up and chat to you from here. So scanning the body, coming out of the practice the same way you came into it. How is the head feeling now? How are the shoulders? Can you release any more tension from them? Can you let go of anything you don't need? How are the lungs and the chest feeling? A lot of us might be operating in kind of constant fight or flight mode at the moment. And that creates a lot of cortisol in the body, which isn't good. And it's not helping the immune system. So we really want to think of trying to lower those cortisol levels, trying to let go of the stress, trying to find time to rest, and relax. So with every inhale, think of positivity and strength spreading, spreading throughout the body. And with each exhale, letting go of any tension, any stress in the body that you don't need. Bringing the awareness to the hips now. Can you release them anymore? To the glutes. To the thighs. Front of the legs, shins, knees, calf muscles, feet. Really totally relaxing here. Feeling your body melting into the mat. Deep inhale, slowing down, deep exhale. The thoughts are coming into your mind. Just acknowledge them and let them go. Let them flow past. Maybe imagining here that you're on a beach or you're in a lovely park green grass, blue skies, the sun is shining, warming the body, and you're safe. Big part of yoga philosophy, some of you might have heard me say before, is kindness or ahimsa. And it means a kindness to yourself, a kindness to others, and a kindness to the world around you. So remembering that kindness today and bringing it into your day or your week ahead. Thanking yourself for waking up this morning and practicing yoga, moving the body, relaxing the mind. So if we translate yoga directly to English, it means union. And that's a union between the mind, the body and the soul. So with yoga, we're thinking of the physical practice of the postures. We're also thinking of the meditation, slowing down the mind. We're thinking of the breath, the pranayama that moves through the body as well. So really gently now, start to wiggle the toes, start to wiggle the fingers and roll to your right hand side. Push yourself up to a seated position. So maybe that might be again cross-legged or maybe the legs are out in front or maybe you're sitting on the 
the shins. You're just finding a nice, comfortable seated position, and that might be different for all of you. So at the end of the practice, we generally finish with a namaste. So if you want to bring the hands to the center of the body. And I've been doing a lot of reading, and I came across um, this lovely description of namaste from my training. So I'm going to read it out for you this morning. So you can close down the eyes here, bring the hands to prayer in the center of the chest. And when we say namaste, we translate it directly again to English. It means, my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, love, truth, beauty, and peace within you, because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. So namaste, everyone. And thank you for your practice today.